Hello friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide and we are on December 15th, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well earthquakes, volcanoes and world weather. Checking out here the last 48 hours on our sun as we've seen a very busy sun shooting out over a dozen if not 16 solar flares and eight of them were M-class. So large M-class solar flares firing off of our sun as we had nine sunspots earth facing at one point. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming, crusting imagery on the southern hemisphere and a large blast taking off from the backside of our sun. Very busy. Having a look at outgoing here, sunspots leaving the area, active sunspots in the southern hemisphere. And as well, plasma rope still hanging around left side, which is our northern hemisphere of the sun. Things have really picked up over the last 48 hours. Just look at all these solar flares, over a dozen. And as well, plasma filament whipping away on the back side of the sun. All of this imagery brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory mixed in with daily events worldwide, having a look at multi-spectrum, showing all of the events on our sun the last 48 hours, plasma filaments, we have earth-facing coronal holes now, and as well, large plasma tornado in the northern hemisphere. And you can see those flashes, those large flares, definitely showing some signs of life yet again, the sun. Having a look at 193 angstroms here, this is where we can see the coronal holes, which are the black, blackened regions. Elongated coronal hole there, and another one forming in the northern hemisphere, getting ready for an Earth-facing view. We do have some space weather on its way, as expected and forecasted here, 15th into the 16th. And you can see that flash from large solar flares. Amazing stuff. Having a look at the solar x-ray flux showing heightened activity, flare classes, almost an X-class at one point, but looking at 9, 10 M-class solar flares. Geomagnetic activity slightly elevated. Having a look at Lasco 2, showing all the sun's energy taking off from the sun. Plasma filaments taking off in an outgoing direction. Minor C-class flares were earth-facing. Most of the M-classes were in an outgoing position. Still some amazing stuff. As you can see, static increase in these images as the flares took off from the sun. Having a look at ISWA Space Prediction Spiral, showing a large blast taking off from the sun right at Venus. So Venus taking a huge impact from a large CME. Who knows what happened there? Closer look here at the elliptic plane. That little yellow circle, that is Earth. And we are expecting energy 18th into the 19th. Real-time solar wind, we're sitting at about 330 kilometers per second after seeing a few random spikes here up to almost 500 kilometers per second. This is the last 24 hours of solar wind. Solar wind maps are not being updated right now. Schumann resonance for today is a low power of 6. Not much to talk about here with the Schumann resonance. Just a quick look at the tele telepathy. And as well, 9.3 quality, frequency max of 8.5. Things have definitely changed here. Uh, let's get to earthquakes the last 24 hours. We're going to start out here with the largest and forecasted. We were expecting a large earthquake. And the day after I said it, Rat Islands 6.3 earthquake rang out. And as well, a 5.7 
El Salvador today, 74 kilometer depth. Looking at Puerto Rico, largest through the region was a 3.6, but things have quieted down there through the Caribbean plate. F Peru reporting a 4.9, and as well a 4.2 here, Aberpampa, Argentina, 217 kilometer depth, 5.2 earthquake here, South Sandwich Islands, as well a 4.3 here, Aegean Sea, 10 kilometer depth, 4.5 there, Northern China, Russia border, as well a 5.0 earthquake here, Sangang, Myanmar, and a large 5.9 magnitude, Hulian City, Taiwan, 4.5 earthquake there, Japan, Izu Islands region, over 350 kilometer depth, quiet through the Banda Sea area, things picking up through Papua New Guinea, 5.2 and a 5.0 to report there today. 4.9 here, Vanuatu, and quiet through Fiji. No deep earthquakes today. 4.8 earthquake here, South Indian Ridge, and as well west of Macquarie Island, 5.1 earthquake south of Australia. Increasing activity through the Pacific Plate into Hawaii and Kilauea Volcano is now filling up its crater yet again. Have a quick look here. Browse at the last seven days for earthquakes across the planet. Largest being the 6.3 reported yesterday. Rat Islands, Alaska. Aleutian Islands. Lots of increased activity through the Aegean Sea and the Mediterranean. And as well, Central America. Seeing a lot of activity. South America as well this week. South Sandwich Islands. And of course, West Coast, the United States. As we did see a large 4.9 earthquake off the coast of Oregon. Expecting more to come here soon. So stay aware and prepared. Having a look at the Pacific Disaster Center. Showing the most recent satellite imagery. And as well, pointing out the most recent volcanoes getting updated. We've got Semeru in Indonesia. As well, Popocatetl in Mexico. Huge systems across the Northern Hemisphere. Sabincaya in Peru. Nevadas de Ruiz in Colombia. Hundred and seventy five active hazards here. Fuego in Guatemala. Swiss and Ajima, Japan. These are all in the last five hours. As well, Krakatoa, nine hours awakening yet again. Alert level raised there in Indonesia with the large Krakatoa volcano. It's Anak Krakatoa, a baby. As well, Cotopaxi in Ecuador. So that's about seven volcanoes getting updated today amongst the 52 that are active and erupting across the planet. Quick glance here at satellite imagery from around the world. Vigorous system heading into Hawaiian Islands over the next couple days. Huge old pressure center in the North Pacific. Fires erupting in parts of Northern Australia and Western Australia. Floods through Pakistan and Tropical Cyclone 7 is alive heading towards the Sea of Yemen. We've also got flooding conditions developing through Spain and parts of North Africa, Central Africa, and as well South Africa. Atmospheric rivers of moisture affecting them, as you will see here in the forecast. Brought to you by Windy.com and Daily Events Worldwide. Having a look at the precipitation forecast for the next week. As we do have a lot of snow that will be falling in this long-range forecast across Canada and parts of central United States. And quite possibly a superstorm building here. Remnants, or sorry, kind of looking like Superstorm Sandy did. Very large system here developing in the long range forecast just before Christmas. So all of Canada will see a white Christmas. As well, we've got a system heading in from the Pacific. 
extreme weather that will be affecting Florida Sunday into Monday. Watch for intense extreme weather there. And then that is going to head straight up the coast into the Atlantic provinces. So superstorm building in the northern hemisphere. Atmospheric rivers in the southern hemisphere, as you can see, stretching off of South America and through Madagascar. Daily evaporation rains could be heavy and extreme at times in the long range forecast and as well Madagascar, a possible cyclone. Overlooking Europe, as we've got a system central right now that will be heading out towards Russia and the Atlantic systems are going to be heading north into the United Kingdom and Norway, Finland. Things are definitely going to be cooling off here over the next little bit. Overlooking the Pacific Ocean and Australia. Daily evaporation rains could be heavy at times in the long range forecast. As well, some pretty intense and vigorous weather heading towards Hawaii, 18th into the 19th. And then watch for all of that to head into BC and Alaska in the long range. Quick glance here at forecast models for snowfall across North America after these big systems rake across the Northern Hemisphere. Up to two feet of snow in parts of Northeastern United States, just under a foot through Ontario. And not too much to talk about through Alberta, but the Rocky Mountains will see about 170 centimeters of snow. Kamchatka, about 300 centimeters. And then across Europe, mostly central regions through the Appalachians and eastward. Also going to give you a quick glance at our upper atmosphere. This is the polar vortex. Funneling down tons of Siberia cold. Coldest place on the planet will be Western Canada in the long range. Stay tuned for that. Much love, everybody. I hope you enjoy these daily updates. Sorry, I was not able to get to it yesterday. I was not feeling well at all. But I'm feeling much better today. And thank you for all of your concerning comments. We'll see you in the live stream when I get it up here soon. Much love. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. Make sure you don't miss an update. Bye-bye now. Much love. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world.